Hello everyone and welcome to the Daily Tactics Star Wars Tournament. 16 Star Wars characters from various movies will compete to find out who is the toughest in the galaxy. Each battle will be composed of various rules to make it interesting. Some with infantry only, some with weapon restrictions, or anything else you could possibly imagine. Each match will be as equal in terms of numbers and positioning as possible within game restrictions. But one thing's for sure, the warfare will be epic. So without further ado, here are this week's contestants. It's the final battle of the Star Wars Mod Tournament, and the two warriors who are going to be battling for the title of Victor are Boba Fett and Arc Trooper Echo. These two leaders have individually made it through three battles each against difficult opponents. Today, they will see who is the most powerful of the two of them. It will be all-out war, and all vehicles and weapons are available to be used by each side. Boba Fett will be once more using Mandalorian soldiers, and Echo is using his trusty 501st Legion. May the best fighter win. Hey guys, what's going on? Daily Tactics here, and I am back with the final episode of the Star Wars Mod Tournament that we've actually been working on for a few months now. Um, it's been a pretty fun ride, I gotta say. Like, we, we've seen a lot of weird stuff in this series. A lot of really close matches, a lot of really not so close matches, and it's all come down to this. Arc Trooper Echo, who's over here with his 501st Legion, versus Boba Fett with his uh, Mandalorian conglomerate of soldiers. Um, they are both just sort of scattered throughout the city. Um, each has squads on different blocks, as you can see from the mini-map in the top left. Um, some of the red are, uh, well the red are actually, the red are the Mandalorians, the blue are the 501st Legion. So, as you can see, they're scattered about. They have the exact same amount of troopers though. Um, and then there's two large blobs of three squads, and that's where the leaders are. So there's one big blob of soldiers here, and one big blob of soldiers here. Just to make things more interesting, I wanted to consolidate the leaders with a strong position. Um, and then, on the outskirts, what we started with in the beginning of this was just this portrait of tanks galore! Um, both sides are going to have a huge, huge tank battle on the outskirts of the city. So, the clones come equipped with seven UT-ATs, one juggernaut tank, which by the way, look at the AT-ATs, who are normally just massive behemoths on the battlefield. They're dwarfed by this thing. Absolutely dwarfed. Um, so they've got one Juggernaut, three ATTEs, uh, and they're going up against the Mandalorians who have three ATTEs of their own, except these are the pirate variety, which sort of makes sense, um, as well as one of these tanks. These things, if you might remember from um, another, I think it was versus Captain Rex, Boba Fett versus Captain Rex, we used one of these Mandalorian tanks. These things are very hard to kill. It's possible but they are very, very strong. They have uh, rockets on the top, they have a large um, cannon on the front, and then heavy machine guns on the side, and their armor is extremely tough. So that was that's like the equivalent of a juggernaut, basically. Uh, and then they have seven of these smaller uh, tanks, which are the equivalent of the UT-ATs, essentially. So it should be a really fun battle. I'm super excited. I hope you guys have been enjoying this Star Wars tournament, and I hope this is a satisfying end for you, let me know in the comment section below um, who you wish to win and, uh, you know, if it's uh, Arc Trooper Echo and uh, and Boba Fett, who do you want to win this battle? Um, you know, just sort of give me the, the overall who you wanted to win and then during this battle who you wanted to win. Um, and it could be the same, you know. Uh, either way, guys, I'll be right back and we'll get this started. All right, you bad layers. I'm expecting this beginning to be absolutely insane. So we're going in slow-mo because we want to savor every juicy minute of this. So go ahead and press start. And uh, the tanks begin to move forward. They should be moving forward for both sides. Yeah, look at this juggernaut tearing up the ground. Beneath this layer of snow, it's kicking up the dirt beneath. There's also two squads for each side on the outskirts of the city as well, just to make things interesting. Um, all right, let's see. Is there any firing on the map anywhere? Not quite yet. Everyone's sort of moving around um, into various positions. I imagine in just a moment we will be getting that huge amount of fire, though. Um, there's our trooper, trooper Echo with his troopers there. All right, back to the outside. This is the engagement I'm really looking forward to, is this massive tank engagement. Um, and seeing this, I want to do more 
just very large scale tank battles. Um, I think it's something I don't do enough. Ooh, actually the start of the battle is occurring in the city. We can see on the minimap um, laser fire between Boba Fett's main crew over here and a couple of 501st troopers um, who had the misfortune of having to go up against a just a very large force. That's kind of a shame, um, and they are suffering because of it. Oh, but now the tank battle is starting, so we're going to scoop back over there. All right, UTATs, Juggernauts, um, you know, everything is firing at each other right now. Uh, probably lots of death happening. <laughs> probably some pretty scared tank crewmen, let's be honest. Like, I would not want to be a part of this battle. It, uh, it's very intimidating being in this massive tank battle. These things, these are really just super powerful man I would hate to be going up against this like this thing will absolutely butcher you look at these UTATs coming in hot um, the clone ATTEs are very very far behind I suppose the Mandalorian ATTEs are too I think the UTATs just happen to be very very fast so they came forward um, much faster than the Mandalorian lighter tank variant so that's sort of what we got now. Ooh, Mandalorian main tank firing its rockets into these things. That's brutal right there. That's some um, that's some tough hits to take, but UTATs responding with fire of their own. Huge explosion as that one goes down. Pretty gnarly, bruh. Pretty gnarly. The juggernaut's so large it looks like it's just chilling there essentially. Uh clone ATT is really crawling forward. At least they're getting some fire out. Ooh, UTATs up here taking a lot of hits all right let's check back in with the infantry now looks like the outskirt infantry is just sort of derping around over here um sort of taking cover they're watching the tank battle i don't blame them i'd watch that too all right the infantry on the inside of the city though is engaging with each other here's our trooper echoes massive amount of troopers over here um it looks like they engaged with a smaller squad of mandalorians over here and pretty much entirely wiped them out um, it's sort of the same that happened with uh, the Mandalorians that Boba Fett had. These two squads just absolutely eyeballing each other here. Let's see, down the middle a squad of clones is found to be dead. Um, Boba's huge team of soldiers has taken a few losses, but not too many. They did manage to absolutely butcher those guys in there. Um, down in this middle hangar bay area... Um, looks like we got clones, we got Mandalorians, not too much of an, actually no engagement I think has occurred here yet. Alright, so there's still some fresh troops over there. These troops look fresh and unengaged. Uh, so do these, so there's still plenty of death to go around in this battle. Oh, here we go. These guys engaging with one another. Huge rocket from the clones right there. Probably took out a, a few Mandalorian troopers. Oh, here we go. These Mandalorian sniper rifles are insane. Oh, except for that guy goes down real quick. Um, there's, they basically just look like Beretta rifles, like from real life. Of course, the clones have the classic DC-15X response to that one. Let's see, is there one of those in this squad? He might have already died. Yeah, he might have. Oh, they're actually getting flanked by a few Mandalorians themselves from the rear. This shotgun trooper really nailing some of these clones Ooh, that rocket that was uh threading the needle right there my goodness all right these uh these clones they they got clapped back at hard right there um and echoes troopers were close but they didn't go to try and help them out instead they're heading towards these uh few mandalorians who are hanging around out around this corner they're getting a few kills here on the uh republic this guy with the dc-15x Oh, actually, that's not a DC-15X. That's a DC-19. That's a um, machine gun. Oh, here's Echo himself. Big chillin'. Very nice. Leading his troopers. Let's see uh, Let's see what he's going to do. All right, let's go into normal speed now. We've, we've spent enough time in, in the slow-mo. All right, our trooper Echo. He's, he's being cautious. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> now he's rolling out here. Buddy. Oh, he's taking a few shots. He's getting hit hard. Man, I would retreat if I were you, Echo. I don't know what you're doing. There you go. He's, he's falling back. DC-15X Trooper coming up to the front. He could help out quite a bit. And there goes Echo. Going down pretty hard there. That was very foolhardy of him. At least he was, um, he was working hard, but it was not enough. They did manage to eliminate most of these Mandalorians over here. Just a few left. 
But, I mean, these Mandalorians are putting up a solid fight. They're taking out a, a very large number of the clones. And they've got backup from around these pillars over here firing at them, too. Uh, Alright, let's check in on what's happening with Boba Fett's troops. Uh, they seem to all sort of be scattering around here. Oh, there's a little bit of fighting in here between some clone troopers and Mandalorians in this hangar bay area. You guys might remember this um, from... A video we did, I can't remember what clone legion we did, but essentially droids were attacking this platform with the LAAT on it, which was pretty cool. Um, I, I enjoyed that video a lot. I want to do more with this massive city because there's so many small little infrastructural areas that we can utilize for very cool video concepts that I just don't often uh, utilize all the time. So I do want to do more with it. All right, let's check out the numbers real quick on the minimap. So as you can see, blue are the clones right now. Red are the Mandalorians. Clones have the their largest force over here, which was Arc Trooper Echoes. Mandalorians are a bit more scattered. The clones find themselves in like groupings, while the Mandalorians, like there's a lot of sort of single soldiers scattered all about, which both could be a very, very effective uh, way to go about things. Let's go in slow-mo real quick as we check in on what's going on with the uh, outdoor battle over here. Um, it seems like, oh, things are not going well on the clone side. Um, their juggernaut ended up getting taken out. Um, and there goes an ATTE right there. There's only one clone tank left alive versus this tank, this tank. Is that one alive? Wait. No, this one's dead. This one's alive, but it's on fire. This one's alive, but it's apparently broken, and this one is broken too. These two are both broken, um, and this one is dead. So things really ended up going poorly for the clones out here in the end, um, which is kind of surprising. I um, I thought they would have put up a better fight, but um, maybe their their ATT is like the UTATs really gunned it forward. So perhaps it was that those. Um, those ATTEs got lagged behind, and therefore the Mandalorians were able to wipe out the clone tanks much faster because the uh, the clones sort of just went a little too far ahead, and there goes that last clone vehicle there. Um, that's brutal. There's still clone troopers on the outskirts here um, who could potentially take out those vehicles um, by themselves, although it will be very tough. So we'll have to see how that ends up going in the end of this battle. Um, these guys sort of rummaging around. There we go. Now they're going to start fighting with the other Mandalorian infantry on the outside. Clones do have these trenches. Uh, well, actually, the Mandalorians do a little bit, too. So um, both have some cover for this skirmish, though. It could be a, a devastating skirmish for the Mandalorians because I think a bit more of them are on the outskirts, while most of the clones are within the trench lines, which is good to see. For the clone perspective, for the Mandalorian perspective, it's quite bad. There's also more clones over this way, too. Look at this DC-15X trooper standing like an absolute baller. Heck yeah, that's a good screenshot. Um, so yeah, these... Oh, wow, these Mandalorians got ripped apart very, very fast. Um, Alright, let's go back to the city for a bit here. We'll have to check back in on what's going on out there. Uh, clones seem to be doing pretty well here. Gee, I'm seeing mainly clones left alive. Very nice. All right. Um, oh, there's some Mandalorians putting up. Ooh, that was a lot of dead clones right there rounding that corner. That's a big oof. That's a big oof. Oh, there's Boba Fett. Boba Fett has gone down. All right. I did not know that. Um, all right. So looking at the minimap right now, red are Mandalorians. Blue are clones once again. The clones seem to be winning the infantry battle, while the Mandalorians seem to be clearly winning the... Vehicle battle. Well, the Mandalorian straight up won the vehicle battle, let's be honest here. Um, meanwhile, the Mandalorians, they have this one little holdout here on the edge of the map, um, and then they have a larger holdout over here where Boba Fett's main force was. A um, lot more troopers over here. Meanwhile, the clones... Um, oh, well, it seems like they're dealing with a... Okay, that Mandalorian died. Um, the clones have a large force here, 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 and in here. So... Clones seem to be doing a lot better. On the outside, though, I'm noticing on the minimap, yeah, these uh, Mandalorian tanks are moving on forward here and um, really nailing a lot of clone infantry right now. Uh, you can see this soldier. Ooh, DC-15X. I just... You guys know I got a soft spot for the DC-15X soldiers. This is pretty dope, too. I'm taking plenty of screenshots of this. Heck yeah, this looks awesome. Uh, so these guys who were in the trenches seem to have been attacked pretty ferociously, actually, by the... 
um, Mandalorian tanks, which is a shame. Um, and then uh, these guys over here, they've taken a few losses, but nothing nearly as bad as the other guys who were up front over here. Except, ooh, there's some rockets hitting them hard. That's tough right there, that's tough. Um, let's see, oh, it looks like this ATTE did eventually die, which is interesting, I wonder how it did that. Um, this thing's like derping underneath the thing. All right, actually lots of them are derping underneath. <laughs> All right, okay. Well, look at this clone. He's a machine gun. Oh yeah, very nice. Ooh, nice job with the, uh, the rocket launcher there, boyo. Could uh, get the get the kill on this thing. That would certainly be helpful for the clones. And yes, he does get the kill on that thing. And a bunch of Mandalorian infantry actually hop out of there, um, which is probably not super helpful for the, the clones, but this guy's going to continue to fire his rocket. Oh, okay. Yeah, he got eviscerated right there. All right, check him back in on the city. Um, let's see. Mandalorian still holding out around this region here. Still got quite a number of soldiers around these parts. This block right here, they seem to really be trying to hold, except they're just letting this clone from above shoot them. Very strange. Uh, more clones around this corner here, too. Yeah, I'd say the clones have just really hurt the Mandalorians in terms of the infantry battle, which is very shocking. Um, yeah, like, pretty badly, but the, the Mandalorians totally just annihilated the clones in terms of the tank battle. So, looks like the final Mandalorian holdout here is sort of going into effect against our Trooper Echo's forces. Very nice. Very, very nice. You can see um, a little R2 unit chilling there. My phone's ringing, but I don't want to hang up because that'd be <laughs> really rude because this is a person I can't just like ignore their call and hang up and like go straight to voicemail. So I'm going to let it ring out and hopefully you guys don't hear the vibrations or whatever. Uh, a few more clones dying as they're trying to move in Enemy this way. Okay, there we go. <laughs> the phone stopped ringing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a professional YouTuber. Totally. <laughs> oh, man. All right, the clones are losing forces to this Mandalorian holdout here. Um, but I don't know if the Mandalorians are going to manage to really keep this up very long, especially when they're not paying attention like that. <laughs> yeah, this is um, this is getting to be fairly brutal here. Fairly brutal. Of course, I don't know if I mentioned this in the beginning. It was pretty implied, but um, since this is a tournament episode, everyone has the exact same health as each other, and everyone also has um, the, uh, the same number of troopers. So, completely even for both sides. They also have the same weapon variety, too. Same mix of rifles and SMGs and snipers. Of course, they have different variants to each other, but they're pretty much all balanced to be about the same. So... That really shouldn't make too much of a difference. It just seems like the clones really powered through um, quite nicely here. The Mandalorian sort of okay. hiding beneath the uh, the surface here. Quite a few of them still alive. And uh, oh, it looks like these ones that were down this block did end up dying there. That's a shame to see. Oh, there's actually another one right here. Pink one with an SMG. Oh, it looks like she killed a. Uh, I'm presuming it's a sheep. Killed a uh, clone out there. Nice job. Getting hit by lots of laser fire, though. Oh, looks like clone's moving in. She's still alive. How is that even possible? God dang. What a champ. Tons of clones coming at her, and yet she's still chilling. Uh, these mandos down here did end up biting the dust a little bit. There's still some, though. Still some. Is there any around here? No, they seem to be concentrated right here. See, like, this pit in of itself would be a really fun, uh, fun area to do a battle in. Um, although this is as far as I can zoom, which kind of sucks, but, um, still I think would be pretty cool. Oh, those clones really taking a lot of losses trying to push in on the Mandalorians this way. Ooh! Cheeky little kill there. And that Mandalorian had a grenade out, so he did not manage to get any fire out. And these two Mandalorians down here 
seem to refuse to fire. I hate that I can't zoom in closer than this. Yeah, these Mandalorians are gonna die for sure. Ooh, hate to see that grenade. Hey, but they put up a pretty good fight. Got some kills there. Not bad. All right, what's the deal? We got one left Mandalorian right out here. We got three out here. And then probably like 50 or so clones left alive. Um, but the Mandalorians have a bunch of tanks. Interesting. Including this behemoth. I don't know what to do now. Mm -hmm. This one's like stuck, actually. I mean, here's the thing. The, uh... Hmm. I mean... The tanks don't seem to be moving in any direction. Should I just move the tanks towards the clones so we get an engagement between the two? These all seem stuck. Oh, this one's broken. Is it repairable? It's broken and non-repairable, so we might as well just bail the crew out on this one. And the crew can't even bail out. Alright, so this is just a sitting duck. Um, how about this one? You, sir. Non-repairable. Crew also cannot bail out. Sitting duck. How about this one? This one's fully functional. This one over here seems to be functional. So yeah, you push towards those clones and see if we can get an engagement that way. I'm going to just delete these boxes, including a few dead clones with them. Sorry, buds. There you go. So we got basically two Mandalorian tanks versus... A whole slew of clone infantry, plus a couple a couple of Mandalorian infantry from the outside who, who managed to survive. So we'll see how this goes, I guess. I mean, clones do have some rocket launchers. There, a lot of clone infantry actually survived this compared to, I mean, the Mandalorians who had, like, nothing. Okay, yep, that's brutal. Yeah, you rocket troopers, you guys need to get up there. I mean, the problem is the tank's really far away. I mean, these tanks can, in fact, be killed by... Ooh, that guy got destroyed. By infantry fire. It is possible um, to destroy tanks with laser fire, but it's a lot harder than if you get some solid rocket shots off or whatever. So, if the clones did manage to do that, then that'd be probably a little bit better, but, I mean, we'll see. Um, I do have to say that uh okay that was brutal Whew. um it's kind of interesting that one side dominated in terms of tank warfare and the other side totally dominated in terms of uh in terms of infantry warfare like polar opposites both had a strength and a weakness this other mandalorian tank is now up here firing into the crowds of clone infantry Clone infantry taking some pain due to that. It's a pretty cool screenshot. I mean, it's real derpy. Who's out here? Supposedly there's like clones out here on the minimap. Oh, y'all are just in a building. You guys want to leave that building or no? Well, you can do what you like. Um. Yeah, I mean, these clones are really trying to do these tanks in, but the tanks are just shooting them. This is derpy. This is, uh... <laughs> oh, man. What an ending to the series. <laughs> what I, I see no other proper ending than a derp fest. 2K19. It's only fitting. It is only fitting. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know what to do. I feel like in in, in oh my god, wow. Um, anything I do here, I feel like I'm gonna get criticized for helping one side over the other. I mean, there's literally two Mandalorian tanks versus probably like 40 or 50 clone units now after they killed. A lot of them but like I can't declare a winner uh, because it's like 
Yeah, because both sides could potentially win this, but like simultaneously, it's not super even to have infantry go up against tanks, but I suppose that's the cost of losing the tank battle, you know, is that you, now you have to fight infantry versus tanks, but simultaneously, I feel like it's almost, it, it's slightly unfair, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we should go into sudden death, because the clones still have, like, yes, clones still got a lot of infantry, and the Mandalorians only have two tanks, so we could do, like, a little sudden death thing. Because both have a claim to the victory right now, because one won the infantry, like, engagement, and, uh, the other won the tank engagement. Yeah. I like this idea. We're going into sudden death, because... We can't have this kind of determination to who wins the overall thing by this because, like, both sides, it's just kind of a, a stalemate at this point because the infantry doesn't really have to come out and fight the tanks and the tanks can't get into the infantry, so... Yeah, let's do sudden death. I'll be right back. Alright guys, sudden death. I know a lot of people are going to be upset about this, but I'm super excited about it, so I'm going to say nay to the naysayers. Um, I hope you guys are excited about this too, because I think it'll, it's the only fair way to resolve that last battle. So, we have the exact same number of troopers for each side, 200 clones versus 200 of the Mandalorians, plus, uh, well 201 if you count the, for the leaders, plus each side has um, 10 ATTE tanks. These ones are the pirate variants versus the clone um, clone variants. And, I mean, they really don't pose any difference. They're the same thing. Uh, here's Boba Fett over here. And here is... Doo -doo -doo -doo, where's our trooper Echo? There he is. He's right there. Um, all right, so let's just go ahead and press start. Let's just do it. Hop into this thing. All right, ATTEs and infantry moseying on for this looks absolutely le epic right now i love this holy cow i love this i'm so glad we did sudden death i mean the thing was the other battle the way it ended there would have been so much argument in the comments about who i declared winner you know because some are gonna say like um well the mandalorians clearly won because they had two tanks left um, and tanks can beat infantry, and of course I wasn't gonna sit there for the next 40 minutes while the infantry sometimes attack the tanks and then sometimes, uh, left, you know, cause that's what they do. Um, or some people would have said, well, um, you know, the clones had hundreds of, probably a hundred clones left alive, um, and the Mandalorians only had two, uh, two infantry units, or sorry, two tank units, and, uh, in real life, the infantry would have been way smarter and been able to take out those by just using rockets or whatever. So, I feel like the, the sudden death is the way to roll here. Either way, clone infantry and Mandalorian infantry are going to be the first to uh, sort of engage with each other here, as they are far faster than the ATTE walkers. And here we go, first shots getting fired over here in the middle. It's a grassy plane, there's no cover, um, so it's completely even. For both sides, there's just some rolling hills that maybe these clones or Mandalorians will be able to duck behind uh, if they really, really need to. ATTEs finally beginning to engage here. They might be shooting at opposing ATTEs or opposing infantry. Let's be fair, um, the uh, the other ATTE tanks are a little bit far away, so it might be a tad difficult to get those shots in there. Um, either way, infantry is going down drastically lots of them dying early on in this battle but I suppose that's sort of to be expected first ATTE to bite the dust is on the clone side over here uh oh ruh roh raggy um I mean yeah infantry can't really compete against these large tanks just coming at them so I totally understand why a lot of the infantry is going down very very fast uh, it's no bueno. Ooh, lots of ATTEs now getting destroyed as they begin to take more damage and kill each other off here. Oh yeah, sudden, I love sudden death, man. Sudden death elimination. Worth it. Worth the comments I'm gonna get about people complaining. <laughs> oh man. Oof. 
Clones have four tanks remaining. Mandalorians have four as well. Wow, very, very even. I suppose they are the same tanks, so that makes sense. There goes another Mandalorian tank. Still four clone tanks, though. Ooh, another Mandalorian tank goes down right there. We're still seeing some infantry activity on both sides. Not a lot, though. Lots of the infantry is starting to really bite the dust. Three clone tanks versus one Mandalorian tank right now. And the Mandalorian tank is, in fact, on fire. And there she blows. <laughs> okay, so the, the clones have won the tank battle this time around. And now... Um, their infantry is still alive. They, I'd say the infantry for both sides is about even right now. If we look at the minimap, blue is Mandalorian infantry, red is clone infantry. Uh, but the clones have the distinct advantage of having these tanks left alive. Which the Mandalorians could potentially take out. Uh, but this time I feel it's, it's far more fair of a situation. Because, uh, well, for one, it's not people in the inner city where tanks aren't able to go into versus tanks that are trapped on the outside of the city um, and also it's uh, the same tanks versus each other and also there's uh, still Mandalorian infantry alive so I feel like this is a bit a bit better to resolve because I mean last last battle there was I don't need to keep on justifying this I'm just gonna say I did it because I wanted to and I like sudden death and boohoo I felt like this is a fair way to do it um, Mandalorian infantry is of course naturally getting crushed as clones have infantry plus tanks still alive so um, the Mandalorian infantry we can see them trying to deal with the clone infantry while simultaneously getting cut in the booty by uh, these ATT -E walkers here. Yeah, well, this one's like just going for the flank, full on flank a Rooney there. I assume Boba Fett is probably dead at this time. I don't, uh. I don't see him. I'm just trying to look around the survivors. Um, I must. He probably went down. The odds of a leader surviving through this battle is pretty slim um, now I'm looking for arc trooper echo not really seeing him I expect him to probably be dead too of course he can win still win the tournament all right so we got five Mandalorians left alive according to the minimap one of them with a uh, sniper rifle here he's got three infantry kills that ain't bad oh, okay bye bye um, four Mandalorians remain. Another sniper over here. Oh, okay. Three Mandalorians remain. <laughs> Let's see. That one up there died. Got one, like, in... Oh, the last one alive is, like, inside this turret here. Let's go Rambo. Yeet, 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 yeet. Yep, he's dead. Alright, so the clones win uh, very effectively here. This was definitely a sweep by the clones, mainly because they had those three tanks left alive. Because both sides had the same amount of infantry left at the end, but the fact that the Mandalorians lost their tanks resulted in the tanks being able to sweep the Mandalorian infantry and the clone infantry to stay alive. So, Arc Trooper Echo wins the tournament overall. After all these weeks, we finally have a winner. I sincerely ha hope you guys enjoyed this series. Part of me is glad it's, glad it's over so we can move on and do new fun things. But part of me is like, oh, this was kind of fun to make. And um, I really enjoyed it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it too. All right. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content. And hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.